Hey guys, in this video we're going to learn how to stack and unstack data frames. Um, stacking data frames is pretty much, you know, about pivoting. I hope you know what pivoting is. If you don't, then keep watching in the coming few videos I'm going to be talking about it. So if we look at the help or the doc string um, of the stack function, um, it says here pivot a level of the you know possibly hierarchical column labels returning a data frame or maybe series in the case of an object with a single level of column labels. So if we have one column only, uh, the new the new the new data frame will have a hierarchical index with a new innermost level uh, of row labels. The level involved will automatically get sorted, so it will be sorted. Um, I think if it's not clear, let's have an example so uh, it's much much clearer. Let's import our pandas as usual. And notice here, I've copied uh, the data frame two that we created before. But now, when I this is my dictionary, and when I create a data frame, I specify index values to the rows and to the columns. So I give them labels. Um, excuse me, and uh, I do that by saying index equals pd dot index. So from pandas, uh, uh, use index, and I pass it. A list of labels and then I give it a name letter okay so that's for my row names and then for the columns again I use the pandas dot index I pass it a list of column names and then I give them a name as attributes if I run that and my data frame now looks like this we've seen this before but before uh, we had the index um, assigned automatically 0 1 2 3 and we didn't have a name for it. Likewise, for the column names, we just specified them before, but we didn't give them a name. So now I've named them attributes. So attributes refers to the column names, and letter refers to the row names or row labels or column labels, right? Attributes, column labels, letter, uh, row labels, right? So if we do the unstack now and see the pivoting and see uh, basically what happens as the documentation here says, I can say df2 dot stack and run it and what happens here is it does it based on the index so my row labels and it tells me here that for row label a I have these attributes ID value 6 city Lisbon rank value 19 population value 1 million or 1m and then the next one is letter B for this record for this letter B for the for this row name B I have ID value of 7, city Tokyo, rank 22nd, population 9 million, and so on and so forth. This is the pivoting idea, right? So it's maybe a different way of displaying the data. In fact, it's very useful as we will see in the coming videos. Okay, so that's how we unstack it. Um, we can, by default, it does it based on the row labels. So if I pass it value 0, that's what it does. If I pass it value 1, it, oh, I'm sorry. No, no, no. It only works on 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 uh, stacking. To stack it, it only works on the 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 rows. This is actually what it says here. Pivot a level of the da, 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 column labels, returning data frame or series. Have a hierarchical index. Da, da, da. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's based on uh, on 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 this. Whereas. Uh, if I save that, so df3, let's say, if I save that, and if I want to unstack it, df3 dot unstack, then I get back the exact data frame, but if I want to transpose it, I can basically say, do it along the other um, do it along the other axis and I get the data frame transposed okay I hope the idea makes sense here let's read the documentation for things to make sense to, 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 to make sense unstack aka also known as to pivot series with multi index to produce data frame the level involved will automatically get sorted so uh, it will be sorted and the parameters we pass it the level and the fill values. If we have nands, then we can replace them with that. But to pass it a value of zero, uh, it 
does the transposition, the transpose, if I pass it a value of 1, it returns the original data frame, and the default is 1, as you can see. So sometimes it does it along the columns, and sometimes along the rows. Right? I hope the idea makes sense. Like I said, I will speak further about um, about um, pivoting in the coming videos. In fact, instead of passing 0 and 1, we can pass now the label or the name that we gave to our indices. If I say, tell it letter, which is for the attribute names, so do it along that. If I tell it to do it along the attributes, attributes, it'll do it the other way around, right? Hope the idea makes sense. Sometimes do it along the rows, sometimes do it along the columns, right? Let's stop here, enough talking, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.